So what's this? It's an endoscope, very similar to a boroscope, but it's used for maintenance items like inspecting your rifles, engine bays, uh, different things like that. I use these when I was in the military during my inspection career of weapon systems, and I really like them. Uh, they're fantastic for all kinds of uses, but they're rather expensive. These are not. This is about $150, links in the description. The thing I liked about this particular model, and I requested this actually from the company, and they sent me one, is the really nice inspection wheel. Uh, this has a lot more control than maybe more of the mechanical type, like the joystick type. I really like a physical wheel to maneuver the tip. Uh, you can also flip the image right here. So when, let's say it's upside down, uh, well, you can push the button and it flips the image. So it's it really has some smart, intelligent uh, buttons and uh, other things that make it just really easy to use. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna inspect this Mosin Nagant and my shotgun. I'm gonna throw that video in. At the end of that, you can see how I transferred the pictures. That's gonna be really quick, guys. It's not, there's not much to this. There's no d drivers to download. I was really impressed with just how it worked. It's just everything really works. It's waterproof. You don't have to worry about it. It just goes straight on in there like so. Real easy, guys. It's real fun to use. And we also have some other connections like a hook and some other items, cleaning items, and then the USB cable that you need to transfer the pictures over to your computer. All right, so the first one we're gonna inspect is the 9130 Mosin Nagant. We're gonna do two. We also have a carbine model, the M53, that we're gonna do right after this. This is gonna be very long of a video. See the chamber? See some leftover Cosmoline in there also still. So hard to get that stuff out. This one looks like it's manufactured a little bit better. We can see how the barrel screws into the action there. And we can see the rifling down in there, but I wanted to show you guys the crowns uh, because one of these does have a, an indication of corrosion. Uh, that's the 9130. See that rifling? little dusty in there and then here's the M53 and look at the discoloration here I believe these are chrome aligned now here's that shotgun and we're also gonna fire this shotgun so you guys are gonna be able to see the firing pin uh, actually strike the breech face so I'm actually gonna dry fire this for you guys and here we go we're going all the way down in we can see where the shell goes in have a little bit of scratching that's this is actually in really good condition this is a that's a nice looking gun barrel and here we go there we go and we can see where that firing pin hit you guys can rewind that if you'd like to see that not a good thing to do to your shotgun by any means but I figured oh and we have an indication of scratching that is interesting look at that now how did that get there Any opinions, I'd love to hear them in the comment section. We can see some discoloration on the breech face on that side. We are not going to dry fire that side. All right, I wanted to show you how easy it is to pop this right off. Easy. And now we take it on over to our desk. We're going to plug in the supplied USB cord. And it's going to instantly download those videos to your Mac or Windows computer. No drivers to download, no headaches. Look at how fast that happens. And we're talking 1080p video, folks. And look how clear this looks. Fantastic for an OnlyFans page, for you models out there. Look at that hole, fantastic. We're gonna pan to the left and we're gonna take a look at the case, the carrying case that it comes with. Really easy to put the stuff back. And I want you guys to check out those links. We have a little bit of a discount for you guys. Support the channel. 